Hi, this is Gleb. Imagine we have a couple of elements on the page and some of the buttons in this case have data size attribute. Let's say we want to use data size to select elements to ensure test coverage. We can find all elements that have some data size attribute. We can say size get and use selector data size in square brackets and that's an attribute selector but without specifying its value so it will find all elements with data size attribute present in this case only a single button let's verify it i'm using cypress map so i can say map inner text property and this will return an array of strings because there might be multiple elements so we'll say um click me oops I forgot deep equal, I only provided with value, but I forgot the assertion. Okay, well, but we have a couple of buttons without that attribute, and maybe we wanna detect them and fail a test if they exist. Or maybe we wanna confirm that these buttons don't have the data set attribute. How do you find elements without a data attribute? Well, you use the same selector, but you say not, and then in, um, parenthesis you say the actual selector that you don't want to have. So what this means, um, find all elements that don't have an attribute that aside. And now notice in this case, we are selecting save and reload. We can confirm it, reload. So that's great. Uh, by the way, I like mapping to the text of an element because the text is visible. Yeah, our elements have IDs, so maybe we want to confirm the attribute ID. And if you use Cypress map, it's pretty easy. You take this element and you map invoke by calling get attribute, and this will return the attribute from each element. So our elements without data star attribute should have ID click two and click three. Uh, I forgot the actual attribute, right? Because we want to get the value ID. Perfect. So this example and many, many hundreds of Cypress examples and recipes are available on my glebachmutov.com slash Cypress examples site. And I will link that site in the description of this video.